Yo, what's up guys, home, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and as you might have already heard, Day and Scope, like top tier Fortnite controller players are right now going crazy about the latest aim assist nerf and I'm going to explain you exactly how they nerfed it and why they actually nerfed it. So therefore guys, if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, this would help mode so so much, without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, with the latest Fortnite update, Epic Games actually drastically nerfed aim assist and so many top tier, tier 1, tier 2 Fortnite controller players are going crazy about it right now on Twitter. Everyone is tweeting clips of them like literally getting no aim assist while being in close combat, Day was freaking out on stream about not being able to hit a single shotgun shot, the same also applied for Scope where he literally tried to beam someone who was standing still or just running in a straight line and there was zero aim assist, he only hit like 1 or 2 shots out of like a full mag and was just crazy to watch. Huge shout out to Bank to Life and for sharing this information right now here on Twitter guys where he literally explains exactly how this happens and how the nerf actually works. As you can see right now here in the gameplay in the background guys, he has normal aim assist while using his controller in the first place. But as soon as you touch your mouse one time only throughout the whole entire game or the creative session, your whole entire aim assist gets completely turned off and you have zero aim assist for the rest of the lobby. And this is such a huge nerf and Epic Games probably did this to avoid that controller play switch to mouse and keyboard mid tournaments you know especially in the end game to just get some easy search tags because they probably don't want that controller players just randomly mid tournament switch to mouse and keyboard to get tags because in their opinion it's maybe unfair I don't know about it guys because if you just take a look at it realistically a controller player is always gonna have a mouse and keyboard in front of him you know it's like essential parts of your PC setup but a PC player is not always gonna have a controller next to him so they maybe think that it's unfair but there's such a huge problem with this guys because what happens if a controller accidentally actually touches his mouse during a match you know his aim assist is just gonna get turned off like I get that they're trying to work against Zen users or people who try to maybe like adjust some settings you know for their scripts maybe while playing tournaments you know there's like so many cheaters who just activate their scripts straight up for the tournament when they're like in an end game situation or they activate them first when they're in an end game situation and Epic Games is probably trying to work against this but for all the legit controller players out there what happens if you accidentally touch or move your mouse? You're just gonna have to fight a whole entire endgame tournament without aim assist, which is crazy. Or what about all the Fortnite streamers out there who just simply want to adjust their Spotify volume while streaming Fortnite, you know, they can't do that for a whole entire match because otherwise they have to deal with zero aim assist while streaming, like that's crazy bro, you can't do that. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below and this is it pretty much for today's video. If you enjoyed it, as mentioned, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, this would help me so so much. And don't forget to check out all my other videos here on my channel guys, I'm producing daily high quality content and with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time, stay awesome, I'm out. Peace. That shit too light. Big four and hoe come get inside. Diamond Gucci Lee come take a die.